an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit, rather than by the state. The affirmative team believes that we should accomplish the following goal in this round, and the goal is combating crony capitalism. Combating crony capitalism. Crony capitalism is a term that describes an economy in which success in business depends on close relationships between business people and government officials. Our reason to prefer is that it is essential to protecting our democracy. Essential to protecting our democracy. If only the well-connected and well-financed get what they want out of politics, then the middle and working class Americans can only lose out on their overall influence over the legislative branch. If only the major uh, mi uh, minority is being saw and served at the cost of the majority, it is unjust. The affirmative team will show how the crony capitalism today not only costs Americans their liberties, but also harms them through taxes and higher food prices. A way crony capitalism happens in agriculture industry is through subsidies. We see this in the following background point. Background, the U.S. Sugar Program. The U.S. Sugar Program is the federal commodity support program authorized by the 2002 Farm Bill to cover the crops of sugar beets and sugar cane. The program supports domestic sugars by, one, making available loans to processors, two, restricting sugar imports using a tariff, and three, limiting the amount of sugar that processors can sell domestically. Within the status quo, we see two significant harms. Harm one is promoting crony capitalism. Com uh, promoting crony capitalism. We see this in two subpoints. Subpoint A is tax paying ma uh, majority. Tax paying majority. This is by Justin Sykes, 2015. The sh uh, sugar program has cost taxpayers billions. For American taxpayers, the sugar program has led to billions of their hard earned dollars being wasted propping up the sugar industry. The Congressional Budget Office projects the program will cost taxpayers an additional $115 million over the next 10 years. And subpoint B is politically connected minority. Politically connected minority. Brian Wiley, 2014. Sugar beet and sugar cane farms account for about one-fifth of one percent of U.S. farms, and sugar producers account for 1.3% of the value of total farm and livestock production. This relatively small sector of the economy is very politically engaged, accounting for 33% of crop industry's total campaign donations and 40% of crop industry's total lobbying expenditures. Judge, we can clearly see that the majority is harmed because of crony capitalism. This corrupt system is harming life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This takes me to my second harm, which is Americans hurt. Americans hurt. We see this in two subpoints. Subpoint A is increased sugar price. Increased sugar price. Dr. Veronica Daruki in 2015. The U.S. consumers have been paying, on average, twice the world price for sugar. Uh, end quote. Dr. Ruby then goes on elsewhere in the same context to conclude, quote, economist Mark Perry calculates that the inflated price of sugar will cost Americans more than $3 billion this year. Subpoint B is sugar subsidies hurt taxpayers. Sugar subsidies hurt taxpayers. This is also by Justin Sykes in 2015. From 2000 to 2001, the sugar program cost taxpayers almost half a billion dollars. In 2013, nearly $300 million was charged to taxpayers by the program. This uh, sugar subsidies are obviously infringing upon democracy and infr infringes upon life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And that is why we offer the following plan, which is to abolish the U.S. sugar program. Abolish the U.S. sugar program. The agency and enforcement is the Congress, President, the USDA, and the ITC. The timeline and funding is normal means. Normal means. Solvency. Combating crony capitalism. Combating crony capitalism is subpoint A. Sugar uh, subsidies are crony capitalism at its worst. This is a good start with combating crony capitalism. Justin Sykes, 2015. Sh uh, sugar subsidies are crony capitalism at its worst. The program instead represents the worst of corporate wealth, welfare and cronyism that so often plagues DC politics. Through the use of price supports, import quotas, and tariffs, the program uh, destroys competition in the market, protecting the politically connected sugar industry at the expense of the hard-working Americans. Judge, we must repeal. This is subpoint B. We must repeal. Mar Mario Loya, 2014. It is we hope that Americans will soon realize that the cost of farm so uh, pork schemes, such as the sugar program, greatly outweigh the benefits. Congress should systematically repeal such programs for everyone's good. Impact, protecting life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Upholding democracy upholds life, liberty, and the pursuit, uh, pursuit of happiness. Therefore, it is essential that we combat crony capitalism.
advantage, consumer and taxpayer benefit, consumer and taxpayer benefit. Consumers are benefited by our plan as shown in sub point one. Sub point one is U.S. sugar pri prices fall. Jared Meyer and Preston Cooper in 2014. An Iowa State University study concluded that if the sugar program were abolished, U.S. sugar prices would fall by roughly a third, saving consumers $2.9 billion to $3.5 billion. Because sugar is so widely used in different products, the price of food will drop and consumers will benefit. This is sub, uh, sub point two, taxpayers benefit, taxpayers benefit. Judged by removing the sugar program, the significant waste of taxpayer dollars, as mentioned in harm two, sub point B, will no longer be present. Impacts caused by our plan are that we, <coughs> A, benefit to the working class citizens, and B, improve quality of life for all, improve quality of life for all. Our founding fathers built this nation to uphold certain goals. These goals are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Not only does crony capitalism not uphold these goals, but it also damages our economy. This corrupt system threatens what America is all about. Anything that damages America's values, economy, or citizens must be abolished. America needs an affirmative ballot. Thank you. Standing up and uh, open for cross -ex. Oh, I, I, no, I have nothing. Oh, oh, no, sir. It, Oh. Yes. No, I'll, I'll Okay. So you brought up a goal of um, crony capitalism. Yes, ma'am. You would agree that this is quite a specific um, goal, correct? Yes, I would. All right. We'd agree that the point of debate is to have a good debate, correct? Yes, I would. We'd agree that in a debate you have to have two sides, correct? Yes, I would. And you would agree you have to provide kind of a level, level playing field for the debate. Yes, I do. Uh, I do and I believe that we have. Okay. All right. So you talked a lot about the sugar program and you brought up um, billions of dollars. Lost, could I, um, well, before I'll ask you one thing. Sure. Okay. There you go. Do that evidence. And so you talked about how um, the taxpayers are paying for this system. You'd agree that actually there are no subsidies involved in this system. In the sugar program, there are subsidies. There are actually loans going to the sugar Well, of program. course, but these are actually ethanol to sugar loans, correct? Or sugar to ethanol? Loans. No, I would not. But you, if you have some evidence saying that, you can definitely bring it up. Okay. So um, you would agree that actually these this, these subsidies or these <coughs> loans, as um, I said, they actually go when the prices are too, um, or when there's an oversupply, correct? No, I suggest, no. No, they're constantly in uh, in play. We'd agree there are just two separate um, sectors. There's the crop insurance and then there's the sugar program, correct? I would agree that we're arguing about the sugar program and if you're bringing up anything about crop insurance, then that is, oh, not, of that, course. That is not under our... Of course. And that would apply for you, correct? The crop insurance program would apply for the sugar No, program. I was saying that that would apply for you to be firm. Oh, definitely. Okay. So you talked a lot about hurt taxpayers and lobbying. Could you um, provide me with some examples of other sectors that are lobbied? I don't have to. In this particular se uh, sector, this is where the main point of lobbying But is. you would agree that lobbying is a common occurrence in our I government. would, but not. Uh, it's not a good occurrence, and especially when it's but been used as a transaction between business people and politi uh, political sectors. All right, but in general, lobby happens, lobbying happens a lot, correct? Of course it does. Okay. So you talked about how um, sugar prices would fall and taxpayers benefit. And so, so how much a year do consumers lose? How much a year? It actually says in my evidence that it's $3.5 billion. Okay. So but when you have 348 million in the U.S., what does that account to? That accounts to, so essentially, we are still paying that much from taxpayers to the government. But you would agree that's that $10 a year, correct? I would. 